get the jab or get a new job. That is the message from the government in Zimbabwe. It is introducing a vaccination mandate for all of its nearly 300,000 public sector workers. The idea is to force those reluctant to finally roll up their sleeves and get the jab. Now, across Africa, there are still not enough people getting vaccinated. Only around 5% of the African population has so far been double jab. That's compared to around 55% in Asia, 75% in Europe and 65% in South America. Now, a lack of vaccine is also slowing the rollout across Africa, but vaccine hesitancy is also posing a growing challenge. Other African countries are also considering making vaccination mandatory for their public sector workers. But are mandates like this the best way to stamp out vaccine hesitancy? DW's Privileged Mushanyiri sent us this next report now from the Zimbabwean capital, Harare. Garikai Machlengwe is a teacher at a public school in the capital, Harare. He, like many other civil servants, was vaccinated, but only out of the fear of losing his job. Garikai considers mandatory vaccination for public workers as discriminatory and a violation of the freedom of choice. I feel we've been robbed of our rights by the pandemic. This mandatory vaccination if it was to be mandatory to everyone, it should not have selected the civil servants. Because it seems as if civil servants are the only human beings here and are the uh, main spearheaders of COVID-19, which is totally wrong. Despite the call for public workers to be vaccinated, the vaccination rate has not gone up as expected. There are hardly long queues at vaccination centers if compared to a few months back when the country was hit by the third wave. While vaccines may be readily available at vaccination centers like this one, it is the citizens' response that is a bit low. It is a trickle against what health authorities may be anticipating, perhaps because of the conspiracy theories surrounding vaccines. Zimbabwe is targeting vaccinating 60% of its population, hoping to get close to herd immunity. That accounts for 10 million out of its 15 million citizens. The government says mandatory vaccination means just that. Some individual rights have to be restricted. The government is saying you need to be vaccinated so that you say you protect yourself and you protect those who you serve, public servants, are always working in public places, they are interacting with the public, and we need to make sure that all public servants are vaccinated. Worker unions have challenged mandatory vaccination in courts, but are encouraging the government to provide vaccines to all citizens willing to take up the jabs. It is illogical uh, to force an employee to get vaccinated, at the same time allow the same employee to interact and mingle with a person who is not vaccinated. For Garikai Matlengwe, a vaccination card is now the passport to work. At least he is guaranteed a salary. However, his case is not unique. Many countries across the world are now moving towards COVID passports to access services.